Welcome to this TNR training video on feline coat coloration. I'm your host Athena. This video is part of a series designed for new TNR volunteers with Campus Cats of Athens, Georgia. If you're not with Campus Cats, I hope this video is helpful to you as well. Just keep in mind that some of the specific references might not apply to your situation. Let's start off with a question. Why are all white feral cats rare? A. They are not camouflaged. B. They tend to be blind. C. They are all female. Or D. They get dirty too easily. Pause the video, think about your response, and press play again when you're ready to see what the answer is. The correct answer is A. All white ferals are very rare because they have no camouflage and are usually killed by predators quickly. Let's talk about the importance of knowing some common feline coat color patterns. Think for a few minutes now about the importance of being able to identify cat coat colors. How does this relate to your trapping project? What coat coloration can you think of? What colorations have you seen in your colony? First, knowing some of the most common coat color patterns allows you to correctly identify the cats in your colony. It also allows you to keep accurate veterinary records and communicate with the most accurate information. We'll start off with the most common coloration, the tabby. Before we move on, think about a tabby cat. What do you see in your mind? How would you describe it to somebody else?
The tabby coat pattern is by far the most common in domestic cats. Remember that feral cats are the same species as our pet kitties, which is Felis catus. They're just afraid of people. The widespread nature of the tabby coat coloration reflects the domestic cat's wild ancestor, the African wildcat, Felis sylvestris libica, which is shown here in a gray version and a brown version. Here are the most common colors of the tabby coat in domestic cats. We have the orange and the gray or brown. Sometimes you'll hear the terms mackerel tabby or striped tabby, both of which refer to the typical tabby with stripes. Occasionally, you'll hear of a classic tabby, which I think is a misnomer because it's uncommon and wasn't the first tabby coat pattern. This brown guy in the middle bottom is an example. The classic tabby has a swirl pattern on both sides in addition to stripes. Something to remember is that cats can have short, medium, or long coats with any coat coloration. This female here has a medium coat length. The tabby in white is also a common coat pattern. Tabby and white cats are just what they sound like. Tabbies with some white patches. Here are two gray tabbies with white, and notice that the one on the bottom has a long coat. Here are two orange tabbies with white. When writing the description of this coat color on vet records, for instance, the simplest method is to use gray tabby slash white or orange tabby slash white. Black cats are also common. Here are some examples of black kitties, and the female on the top right has a long coat. Let's look now at some black and white coat patterns. Black and white cats can be mostly black with some white, like with these three, or mostly white with some black, like this guy. The coat pattern referred to as tuxedo is a variation of the black and white pattern and usually means the cat is mostly black with a white bib and white on the feet like this little female. You might also see some all gray cats. These four are examples of the all gray coat coloration. Now there are all gray cat breeds like the Russian Blue and the Korat, but the cats in your colony are most likely not purebred. A discussion of cat breeds is beyond the scope of this training video, and my goal here is just to show you some of the most common coat colorations to help you describe the cats in your colony and tell them apart from each other. The pointed coat coloration is not really common in ferals, but you might see a few, and they are easily confused with a specific breed. Here are some examples of cats with the pointed coat coloration. This means that they have a cream colored body and a darker color on their points, which are their ears, nose, paws, and tail. Interestingly, this coat pattern is partially determined by temperature. The darker colors form on the parts of the body that are cooler during embryonic development. I've included two examples here, the flame point, which is cream with orange points, and the chocolate point, which is cream with brown points. Many people would look at this coat color pattern and just call it a Siamese, but this is technically incorrect because a Siamese cat is a purebred animal and you're not likely to see many of those in your colonies. The reason you don't see many cats with the pointed coat coloration in feral colonies is because they're poorly camouflaged and don't usually live to adulthood. Now we'll take a look at the all white coat pattern. All white ferals are very rare. 
They tend to have a short lifespan because their lack of camouflage makes them sadly easy targets for predators. However, they get dumped by their people, just like kitties with other coat patterns, so you might see them as strays in your colony. White cats with blue eyes, like this little boy here, are also usually deaf, which is another disadvantage. Next we'll look at the coat pattern called calico. Before we move on, think about a calico cat. What do you see in your mind? How would you describe it to someone else? What is special about cats with this coat coloration? The calico coat pattern is sex-linked, meaning that it is inherited on the X chromosome. Like people, house cats with two X chromosomes are female, and males have an X and a Y chromosome. Almost all calicos are female because a male must have two X chromosomes in order to have this pattern. He would have to be XXY, which is very rare. Only 0.03% of calicos are male. The rule for this coat coloration is that there are three colors, black, orange, and white. Unless it's a dilute version, like this girl here, in which case the colors are gray, pale orange, and white. The tortoiseshell is another color pattern rare in males. Now think about a tortoiseshell cat. What do you see in your mind this time? How would you describe it to someone? What's special about cats with this coat coloration?
tortoiseshell cat, sometimes referred to as a tortie, has two colors, black and orange. But, like with calicos, there are dilute versions, which are gray and pale orange, like this one here. Notice again that coat length can vary. Three of these cats have short fur, but this one has a long coat. The last coat color pattern we'll look at is the Torby. If you've never heard of a Torby, think about the word itself. What does it sound like? What might a Torby cat look like? A torby is a cat that is both a tabby and a torty, and these are almost always female because the tortoiseshell pattern is sex-linked. This coloration looks like a tabby with orange patches, like this adult here, and this kitten with tabby stripes and a little orange patch on her head. Here's a fun game. Match the picture of each cat with its coat coloration pattern. Spend about a minute on this slide and then the next slide has the same pictures of cats with different coat color pattern options. After you spent some time with these slides, look towards the end and I'll show you how to work through the game. this game here. So we'll start out with this kitten on the top left. She's got some stripes and she's also got white on her throat. So let's try to put her with tabby and white. Looks like that worked okay. Now this cat has black on her so let's try to put her with the black. That didn't work. Notice that she has white on her throat so let's try to put her with black and white. That works okay. 
This one's just got stripes, so that makes her a tabby. This white cat doesn't go with any of those boxes, so we'll wait till the next slide for her. This gray one here can go up in the gray box. This orange guy here, he's got orange stripes. That makes him an orange tabby. We'll put him up here with the gray one. This cat doesn't look like it fits with any of those squares, but this one is another black and white, so let's put him up here. This one here has some orange stripes. Let's see if we can put him up here. Nope, that didn't work. He jumped over to the orange or to the tabby in white because notice this is his leg, got a big white patch, and his face has white on it. So he's a tabby in white. This black one can go with a black box. This cat here has three colors, gray, white, and pale orange. So I don't think she goes with any of those squares up there. This one here has stripes and an orange spot. So let's try to put her with tabbies. Nope, she won't go there. Maybe the next slide. This black one can go up to the black spot. And then this one here is black and orange, so I don't think she goes in any of these squares. So let's go on to the next slide and see what we've got here. We already placed that one. Oh, here we can move the white cat up to this space. We already placed him and him. Oh, here's the one with the points. We can put her over there. We already placed this guy and that one and that one. Now here's a calico. Remember the Dilute calico has gray, pale orange, and white, so let's put her up here. This cat here, she's got orange and white and black. Orange and black's a tortoiseshell, right? Nope, because she has white, so she's also a calico. Now what about this one? We tried to put her with the tabby, but she didn't go. That's because she has stripes, but she also has an orange patch on her head and on other places in her body that you can't see in this picture. So she is a Torby. And finally, our last one over here, little kitten with black and orange, she's a Torty. Let's wrap up this video with a question to see what you've learned. What does a Torby look like? A, black and white. B, tabby and tortoiseshell combined, C, black, orange, and white, or D, striped and spotted. I recommend you pause the video, think about your answer, and push play again when you're ready to see what it is. B is correct. The Torby coloration is a combination of tabby and tortoiseshell. That concludes our video on feline coat coloration. Thanks for watching and happy trapping!